Hi, this is Jeff Quiet from Daydog's technical solutions team, and today I'll be sharing with you a tip on how to use the Daydog command line interface on Kubernetes to perform some basic tasks, including how to check the status of the agent, how to start and stop the agent, and how to send a flare to support when you require more assistance. Assuming you've installed the agent using the instructions on the agent installation page, the agent should be up and running on all of your nodes. I've installed the agent using the Helm chart, but the daemon set or operator approaches are also fine. Let's check. Locate the agent commands document and the corresponding command for Kubernetes. Then open up a terminal window on the host running the Daydog agent and run the status command on that pod. So here I'm at the terminal window and I'm just going to run that kubectl get pods command to see that the Daydog agent is running. Then I'm going to grab that pod name here and run kubectl exec it pod name and then run that agent status command. And what this is going to do is show me all of the details related to the Daydog agent. And so if I scroll up to the top, I can see the version of the agent that is running. I can see any configuration files and the paths for those. I can see the host and the host name, uh, how it will appear on the web UI. I can see any of the out-of-the-box checks as well as any custom checks that I currently have running. Any of the out-of-the-box checks are going to give you your system level metrics such as CPU utilization, disk space, file I.O., etc. for both your hosts and pods. And then down further, I can see whether or not our logs agent is enabled or whether or not we are collecting any custom metrics through our DocStatsD extension. So now that we've seen the agent's current status, let's enable the logs and the event collection and restart the agent to see the change take effect. We'll open up the daydogvalues.yaml file in a text editor. Here I'm going to use vi, but any text editor will do. Now I'm just going to enable the log section, true, container collect all, set that to true. And then for event collection, we're also going to set these parameters here to true. And I'll uncomment these. Now we're just going to save the file. And then if we're using Helm, we're going to upgrade the Helm chart. If you are using a daemon set, you'll just apply these changes to your pod. Finally, if we need assistance from Daydoc's support team, they may ask us to run a flare to help them troubleshoot. A flare is a compressed copy of our configuration files and agent logs. To run this command, simply type agent flare from within that pod. So here I'm going to run that command. You'll see I'll be asked for my Daydog email address. So I'll type that in here. And then I'll be asked for confirmation to upload the flare to the Daydog support team. If you're not already speaking with an engineer, a ticket will be created in our support system and a support engineer will reach out to you for more context. I will type no here so we do not alert the support team. A Daydog agent command line interface offers many other commands as well, which you can check out using the help command. I hope this video has been helpful. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.